they bring Tommy into the hall. We're going to pipe him in. So here we go. Down the back of the hall. Here he comes. Musician friends, their family, uh, Frankie Hiroshi, the one who knows Mickey Basil, Johnny Gowson, the one and only. And another dear friend of mine is here who wrote the big hit song years ago for Andy Williams. Um, it was number one on the hit parade for about 10 weeks, I believe, Johnny. And his name is Johnny Cowell. Thank you, Johnny. Where are you, Johnny? Where's Johnny Ray? Right <laughs> very well. So anyway, um, um, I'm here with my daughter, as my, my dear wife passed away uh, years ago, and uh, I wish she was here today. Also, last year, my, my young son, uh, Mark, he also passed away. And uh, I miss them both dearly. And I'd like to mention also three other great guys that would have been here today if they'd have lived on. And number one is uh, one and only Al Manning on guitar. And of course, who, who can forget the character of Gordy Glass? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then, of course, uh, a young man who was loaded with talent. He died recently, worked with me many times. He could play like Harry James on the trumpet, and he was funny as Jerry Lewis. And that's Johnny Greer. So I had the pleasure of all these wonderful people working with me. Also here today is a wonderful young guy who is now older, Tommy Gilbo on drums. Where are you, Tommy? There he is, out in the community. What a great place that was. We were there three years in a row every summer, now do every band on the lake, right, Nicky? Yeah. Nicky said he was king there, I think I was. Nicky said he was. But we had a great time there. And we had them lined up every day of the week. And uh, I toured most of uh, Canada. A lot of the USA, I worked on Broadway, uh, toured Europe, made a few records, made a lot of friends, done a lot of my house. Is this enough talking? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the, the young man, I should mention, 
who just brought me in playing the bagpipes is my dearest oldest friend when we were 17 and a half we joined the Air Force in World War II he joined and lost the bars. And he's my very small friend. And one day uh, I was playing the Zanzibar on Young Street. What year was that? Oh, many years ago. Many years ago. <laughs> he walked up Young Street and he said, Tell me, Dan, I've got to go and see if it's the same guy. And it was. They really. <laughs> How about that? I was with another air gunner, Billy Flynn, who's an Australian, the same age as us. And I said, I know a guy named Tony Dan, who's on the universe with him. I says, come on in. So you were up playing away, and I sent a note out, number five, pre-air crew training school, two days. And you stopped immediately. Excuse <laughs> <laughs> me. Yeah, so that was really my good friend. So um, I, I worked over the years with many big stars, and uh, I the Kid and Mel Torme. And uh, Jim Reeves, the country western star, who I stole the show from, unfortunately in Buffalo, that's what the write-up says anyway. <laughs> when we had the hip record, oh yeah, and on the other side was Johnny's song, Every Seven Days. And we went to Buffalo to do all the disc jockeys there, and uh, they played on the radio every day, and I appeared with Jim Reeves, and they said, Tommy, go on to both sides of your record, and I'm going to get off fast because... Johnny's coming on. Jim, Jim Reeves is coming on. So we did both sides of the record, and then one hour later, we were still on the stage. It's, it's true. And so, on hung poor Jim Reeves, who was not uh, a nightclub act, he's strictly a recording star. He didn't know how to talk to people. He sang one slow song, I mean, like, four walls to greet you. And he put the arms to sleep and they were walking out. <laughs> it's true, and the writer says that I stole the show from him, which I did. So sorry about that, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll talk about funny stories. Um, my dear friend, Gordy Glass, uh, was quite a guy. And uh, this particular engagement years ago, I think we were working in Hamilton, Frankie was with me. And this particular night, Gordy said, I'm gonna drive. So he borrowed a car. Remember this, Frankie? <laughs> so, after the job, we're driving home, and suddenly we see Gordy's car on the side of the road. <laughs> and then further ahead, we saw somebody laying on the road. <laughs> and what was it? It was a car door. <laughs> <laughs> and what happened was that Gordy got out to go to the bathroom, let the door open, and another car <laughs> knocked him right out. <laughs> and that's a true story. You don't remember that, Frankie? You were living that day. The only one I remember is he played the drums and fell backwards. <laughs> 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 Must have been after old Chef. <laughs> <laughs> he fell right off the stage. <laughs> so anyway, um, <clears throat> so much for that. So. Um, did you ever hear the story about the 10 elements of public speaking, which is very difficult for me at this time with my croaky voice? It was done by Jerry Lewis, and I, I love Jerry Lewis. He was really funny, and one of the few comedians that done a two hour show without swearing. Now, that's funny. You don't have to swear to tell jokes to get a laugh. And he was great. Anyway, he just did this routine called The 10 Elements which contain articulation, pronunciation, and no goose. And so I'll do the best of my ability, one through ten, and if you can do it out to me, I'll buy you a beer. Oh, I can remember it. One hen, one hen, two ducks, one hen, two ducks, three squawking geese, one hen, two ducks, three squawking geese, four living oysters, one hen, two ducks, three squawking geese, four living oysters, five corbin and porpoises. <laughs> One hen, two ducks, three squawking geese, four living oysters, five corporate and porpoises, six pairs of donald bears or three, seven thousand Macedonians of full valerie. One hen, two ducks, three squawking geese, four living oysters, five corporate and porpoises, six pairs of donald bears or three, seven thousand Macedonians of full valerie, eight brass monkeys from the ancient sacred crypts of Egypt. <laughs> One hen, two ducks, three squawking geese, three. <laughs> 
Colin Hay, 2003, falling, he's falling in oysters, five cockroaches, and porpoises, six pairs of dollar bears are treated, 7,000 Macedonians in four battery, eight brass monkeys from the Sacred Aegis crypts of Egypt, nine apathetic, sympathetic, diabetic old men on roller skates with a marked propensity towards procrastination and sloth. <laughs> One head and two ducks, three squatting geese, one of the noises, five covering and poses, six pairs of Donald Webb, a suite of 7,000 Macedonians in full battery, eight brass monkeys from the Asian sacred groups of Egypt, nine apathetic, sympathetic, diabetic, all men on roller skates with a marked propensity towards procrastination, slaw, ten lyrical, spiritual, diabolical, denizens of the deep, or stem around the hall, the quay, and the quivy, all at the same time. Yeah. I do want to thank him very, very much for coming. I think I had another one. <laughs> Who said I didn't? <laughs> no, I think I said everything there. I, so thank you very much. I'm going to come around and see y'all. And they're going to ask me to sing, and that's going to be pretty hopeless, but however. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, well, so on the end of my note here is what I forgot to say is I want to thank my dear friend Johnny Dowson, his brother Mike, who put this wonderful uh, tribute together for me, and we've been wonderful friends for many years. Yeah, you bet. Okay, thank you. Well, you know that. Uh, Tommy just signed a contract to be appear on the David Letterman show, right? That's right. Now we're just waiting for David Letterman to sign. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy probably doesn't remember me, but he put me in many, many gigs back in the, in the old days. And uh, one of the first gigs that he put me into was a place called the Cadillac Hotel in Oshawa. <laughs> I'm all right now, what's up? And uh, that's where I met, as a matter of fact, that's where I met a guy called Wayne McKenzie. And of course, Wayne has passed on, but uh, Wayne and, and Tom worked together at the Janosh and all kinds of places. And if I... A little while after that, I worked with Wayne for five or six years, and uh, this is a song that I learned from, from Wayne McKenzie that Tommy taught him. So I hope I can remember it. We're going to try it anyway. Fly me to the moon And let me swing among the stars Let me see what life is like On Jupiter and Mars In other words Hold my hand in other words, darling, kiss me. 
till my heart was strong and let me sing forevermore you are all i long for all i worship and adore in other words please be true in other words i love you give me some more song and let me sing forevermore you are all I long for all I worship and adore in other words please be true Depart. I know it's so, and yet I know I can't get you out of my heart. You made me leave my happy home. You took my
When I die, well, you keep me cold, you love me, and you took me to love me. You hug and hug and kiss me for my money too. Well, why do you love me, baby? Why don't you tell me, baby, that I told me well?
camp in the woods of the Arabians. There was an old cabin made of earth and wood. A little country boy named Johnny B. Good, who never ever learned to read or write too well. But he could play a guitar like a ring and a bell. Go, go. Go, Johnny, go, go, go. Go, Johnny. Sun goes down. Maybe someday, maybe feel like saying Johnny, be good tonight. Go, 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 Johnny, go, go, go.
ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Frankie Colucci on piano, one of the greatest piano players not in Canada in the world. This man is unbelievable. You, come here. You, come here. Let's have a nice little round of applause for one of the greatest guys around the world, not just Canada. This guy worked with Frankie Colucci, worked with my cousin Dino, one of the greatest vocalists. Can you sing a little bit of this song, maybe? Just, just ramp up a little bit. Just a little bit. But just talk we can talk. Right. It's a little bit of Georgia. Talk.
the song. for the Gav Morton Orchestra and I got the job and I held over for two years and I sung every Saturday night on the on the radio coast to coast and that's how I really got known and I went into Boston oh well, we heard you on the radio so anyway uh, um, I'd like to also welcome while I'm up here and my my dear cousins from Hamilton, Ontario. When I came to Canada in 1950, I stayed with them in Hamilton for a number of weeks before we moved on to Toronto. And I'd like to give a well to Marge and Johnny Williams, right yeah. here. I haven't seen them for 54 years until today. Is that how we like I say, everybody here is family, whether musicians or fans or whatever. School, I got school all my here. Two secretaries from Huron Heights here. Who used to see me every day, just had my picture on the wall in the office. Did you not have my picture on the wall? It's still there? No, we couldn't find it. It looks funny now. No. So anyway, over the years, uh, when we worked uh, in all the bars and clubs and we worked all these big stars, you learn things, and it's not about making the band as loud as possible, like the louder you play, the better it is, it's not so. Is that true, Dino? <laughs> you have to entertain, and that's what we learn to do. And by only watching the best, like Jerry Lewis and all these guys, Eartha Kid, you see them walk on the stage, you see how they, what they do, you learn. I work with a wonderful girl singer who most of you wouldn't know unless you're my age. She sang with Jimmy Dorsey, Helen Forrest. Uh, she had a song called, I had the craziest dream last night. When I worked with Helen in Montreal, and I introduced her as, ladies and gentlemen, here she is, all the way from New York, Helen Twelve Trees. <laughs> that was her nickname, Helen Twelve Trees, Helen Forrest. Is that right? So anyway, uh, we were on the road working in like Ottawa or London, Ontario, or Sarnia, uh, Sudbury, Sault Ste. Marie, Quebec City, you name it, I've been there. Every, every, you know, every water hole in the business. Muncie, Indiana. Muncie, Indiana. Old Lake Michigan. Old Lake Michigan. 
Frankfurt, New York, Germany. New York. Frankfurt, Germany, yes. I've been there. Verona, Italy, I've been there too. Um, now, as I say, we used to hook every request from people and do like anniversary songs for people who have been married a number of years. And we also had this routine, which I sort of remembered at the buffet, didn't I, Frankie? Here is my impersonation of a movie star who used to have big ears, Clark Gable. And then there was a woman with a big mouth, Martha Ray. And then there was a guy with a big nose, Jimmy Durante. Sounds all up. And then, today we have, of course, no, we have Pamela Anderson, right? <laughs> and now here's my mother-in-law. <laughs> Did I forget, Frankie? What? <laughs> he said I forgot. Okay. Have you heard enough? No. Oh, one more. One more. One more. One more. He needs to practice a little bit. He's, he's only learning. The best piano player in Canada. Me to the moon and let me sing among the stars. Let me see what life is like on Jupiter and Mars. In other words, hold my hand. In other words, mm, baby. be happy I won't be happy till I make you happy too Thomas then life's really worth living when you are worth giving why can't I give some to you remember this part when skies are gray and you know yet you are to Frankie Lane you will see the sun shining through remember him I want to be happy, Jimmy Dreddy. I, I won't be happy till I make you happy too. Say key. Zippity-doo-dah. zippity ain't. My, oh, my, what a wonderful day. Plenty of sunshine in my way. Zippity-doo-dah. Zippity-ain't. A Mr. Bluebird on my shoulder. Remember you said this? It's worth living when you are there. Zippity doo da. Zippity. Wonderful feeling. Wonderful. Same key. Here we go for the same key. Well, start. Grab your coat and get your hat. On the doorstep, I can be so sweet on the sunny side of the street. I can feel a I'm a happy tune in my step. I can be so sweet on the sunny side of the street. I used to run in the cage. Take off. This oh, is a 
problem. I'm Medicaid for income tax collector. I'm no good without a gotcha, you. Take my lips. I want you. So why not? Yes, why not? Yes, why not? Take all of me. Yeah. All of me. Yeah. Gotta do one more. Thing. Hey, uh, this is like old time. Remember we used to do all that stuff? folks. <laughs> I gotta do one more. This this is what you call. A little later on, I'm gonna bring my buddy Paul Rose up, and he's got some special tunes. But before Paul gets up for Tom, we gotta do a little tune. You always call me the Italian Stallion, right? The reason he calls me that because every time on the road, every time he saw me the next day, I was walking like this. The night before, I wasn't walking like that. Anyway, I gotta do a little Mediterranean Irish tune for you. This is the Dean Martin thing. This is so popular. You do this too, you can get away with murder. That's the more. You see, that's the more. 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 When the stars make you shine like I had too much wine, that's the more. Oh, I love it. Tell some ring, take a ling a ling, take a ling a ling, and you'll sing Frankie Colucci. I will play tippy tippy tay, tippy tippy tay, like a gay donna. We go for furniture next week. Lucky right? <laughs> When the stars make you do, just like pasta and that's the ball. That's the ball. That's the ball. That's the When you walk down the street, through the world at your feet, you're in love. Tell them, Tom. Oi Mari, Oi Mari, Quando sono ci penso per te, I'll translate later. Fa a dormi, la tua tavola c'ha da vite. Oi Mari, Oi Mari, Quando sono ci penso per te. Now, for those of you who don't understand Italian, I'm going to do a course that I did in Italian, I do it in English, in English. Here we go. Oh, Marie, oh, Marie, what a sucker you made out of me. First, you call me, honey, you Italian stallion, then you take all my money. Oh, Marie, oh, Marie. Oh, Tommy, oh, what a sucker you made out of me. Please let me be. Oh, Marie. Is 
Thank you. 